If you want to save hours setting up your mobile gaming, recording, and streaming, this is the video for you. I've streamed for hundreds of hours, gotten 40,000 followers on Facebook streaming mobile games, and I advise the top mobile gamers in the entire world, this is the setup that's going to allow you to record and stream on Android or iOS in 1080p, 60 FPS to have a level of quality as high as, if not better than, the top mobile gaming creators in the entire world. You ready? We're gonna start with the gear, then we're gonna move into the software. And by the end of this, you'll be capturing 1080p, 60 FPS footage from your phone into OBS Studio, so you can broadcast it or record it as you see fit. Cool? Watch all the way to the end, because if you miss just one setting, you could be missing out on a massive amount of quality. Okay? Here's the basics on the gear. Take your phone, Android or iOS, I'll show you both sets of gear. Phone plugs into an AV adapter. The AV adapter is going to be plugging in two cables, power and HDMI. It allows you to power up your phone while you're playing and get the signal out of your phone to your capture card. The capture card then plugs into your computer and translates the data signal and video signal that came out of here into something your computer can use. As you can see, as I'm using this controller to control my phone, the signal is going through and being captured on my computer. Phone to adapter, cables, capture card, boom, it's in your computer. Cool, so let's go over the gear first, then I'll go over the software once you already have the gear, all right? Links in the description below to every single piece of gear I'm talking about here. Amazon affiliate links are down there. I'm gonna save you time shopping, getting the wrong thing. This gear works, I use it in my studio. As you can see, every piece of gear I'm recommending I'm using in my studio right now. The first piece of gear, that adapter, if you're using Android, is something like this adapter. This one works. Right here you have an H HB, uh, USB-C where you can power up your phone, and then right here it has an HDMI jack so you can get that video signal out of your Android device. Plugging into that adapter for Android, you're gonna want a power cable. I recommend nylon power cables because they slide around a lot easier and they're easier to kind of move about your studio as you wanna move freely. Get a long one, at least 10 feet. Then you wanna get an HDMI cable as well to plug into that adapter and your adapter and cables will be complete. Adapter, power, video cable. Got it? Cool, that's how you get the signal out of your Android device. Okay, what about Apple though? So for Apple devices, I recommend only using the official Apple AV adapters. There are knockoff ones that are cheaper, they don't work as well. The official Apple ones are generally the white ones. Buy them directly from Apple, the knockoffs don't work that well, all right? And so once you have the adapter, you need to make sure you have the two cables to plug into that Apple adapter including a power cable, nylon braided is what I recommend so you can move it around, up to 10 feet or so, 10 feet is good, this one's three feet, get up to 10 feet, and then you also wanna have the HDMI cable to go with it. Links in the description below to all of these. So now on iOS, if you had an, an iPad or you had an iPhone, you have the setup, right? You've got your phone, you've got the adapter, the adapter has a power cable, an audio video cable, an HDMI plugged into it. Got it? Now that that's hooked up, you need to run that into a capture card or your computer won't be able to receive the signal. So there are two capture card options that I recommend. The least expensive one that probably will be fine for all of you guys is a device called the Elgato Game Capture Card HD60S. It's what you saw that footage behind me on a moment ago, it's this one. It allows you to capture in 1080p 60 FPS. It also allows you to output right here, through this little button right here, to a monitor, if you wanna look at a monitor while you're playing. Pretty cool for super high-end mobile gaming setups. For example, right in front of me, I can play my game, and I can actually play it on my monitor in front of me while I'm using a controller, for example, to play the mobile game. These devices allow for that if that's something that you are interested in, end game with your mobile gaming setup. All right, this, this device captures in 1080p 60 FPS. It does not capture in HDR, and it does not allow you to use a 4K monitor and get 4K out of it, okay? The next option for capture card is the HD60S Plus. 
and it allows you to capture an HDR, and it allows you to have 4K monitor plugged in to the card if you want. You make your decision on which capture card makes sense for you. Do you care about 4K and HDR? Cool, get the HD60S Plus if that matters to you. If that does not matter to you, then get the Elgato HD60S. If you want to future-proof your setup, get the HD60S Plus because 4K and HDR10 are the future. Links in the description below to both of those devices. Now, if you're looking to go super high-end and do super long gaming sessions, it's really hard to hold your phone in front of your face like this and play the entire time, I know from experience. So one option that can reduce eye strain, reduce finger strain, is to have a controller for some of your gaming sessions. And the controller I'm using here is the literally the best controller on in the entire planet of all time. There's no controller that even comes close. It's the Xbox Elite Series 2 controller bundle. It's got a rechargeable battery. It is an expensive controller. It is very expensive, but it is Bluetooth. All of the buttons are swappable. As you can see here, you can swap every single button. If you're looking to go super high end, I recommend this. It can increase your stamina, your accuracy, and help you as a mobile gamer succeed. You put this mount on it. As you can see, I'm using this mount. You have the controller, the mount, and then you have your phone on top. And it allows you to basically use an incredible controller with a mount and have your screen up high so it's a much more comfortable gaming experience as you play, playing with the controller and looking at the screen and it helps you keep it at a safe distance and it helps you with finger strain and eye strain. If you're interested in that for your mobile gaming setup, links in the description below. It's what I use and that's why I'm telling you about it. Great, now that you have all this gear, you've hooked up the adapter, the cables, the capture card, and you've plugged everything in. What do you do now? Here's what you do. You want to download the software that allows you to bring the signal into your computer. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to do it for the HD60S. So what you do is you go to Elgato's Gaming Downloads page, just search for the name of your card, Elgato HD60S Downloads, it'll bring you to this page. You select your device, you select your platform, and then it'll give you the option of which software to use below. I like to use the game capture software because it is the most intuitive for mobile gamers. Download and install that software. Once you've installed the software, this is it right behind me. This is Elgato software. This is where you're going to configure the signal that's coming in. As you can see, it's coming in in real time from my phone. It's coming in in real time from my phone to Elgato software. Once you pull up the software, it should automatically recognize your capture card, but there's a few settings here that you need to tweak before you go recording and streaming anything in OBS Studio, okay? So the first setting that you wanna do is go right up here to the top right-hand corner. You're gonna see the gear cog right there. Click that gear cog, and that's going to allow you to tweak the settings on the device. Click this, and it'll pull up this menu. What you wanna do is, for input device, select Other. For audio input, select HDMI. That's gonna allow you to maximize your quality through the HDMI cable. Do expanded color range. For your profile, select HD 1080p. For allow 60 FPS, select allow 60 FPS. Slide the quality slider all the way up to best. For cropping, do none. And uncheck every single box below except for allow 60 FPS for video preview. Next stop is the picture tab. You're going to want to select five for brightness, five for contrast, and five for saturation. Why, why, why? Because when you capture footage from your phone or any device through a capture card, you lose some quality. And so to make up for that, this makes your signal a little bit brighter, a little bit more high contrast, and a little bit more saturated, and it makes it pop on a live stream. Okay, once this is all done, you hit OK, and you are done with this software. You never have to use this software ever again, okay? This was just to configure the card. Close the game capture software now. Now, you're gonna go into your broadcasting software that you wanna use, such as OBS Studio. OBS Studio is the most common software out there, and as you can see, I already have the footage behind me set up. 
Let me just go over a few items that you need to know to get the signal here into OBS now that you've configured everything in your Elgato software. So, for, so I'm just gonna just straight up remove this and kind of do it from scratch here so you guys can see it. So you're starting with a new fresh template, a new fresh palette in your OBS. So what you're gonna do is down here in the bottom corner, right here behind me, you click the settings tab right down there. You click settings and it's gonna pull up this settings menu. Depending on what quality you're looking to uh, or what resolution you're looking to capture in, you're gonna select that here. For most of you guys watching this video, you're going to wanna select 1920 by 1080 here and here as your base canvas resolution and your output resolution. You're then going to want to select the maximum downscale filter, which is going to be 36 samples. And for your frame rate, you're most likely going to want to do 60 FPS because you're doing gameplay and that makes it smoother. Hit apply, but do not yet hit okay. For audio, I recommend disabling every single audio device because you're going to manually add them later. Disable everything so you can manually add it later. Next, go to the output tab. Here, I recommend going into advanced. I'm gonna give you a few settings that can be good, but you need to tweak them in based on your system and your setup. Drop down, go to advanced. For streaming, generally speaking, you want to select the encoder. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, select the NVIDIA NVENC encoder. That's what you're gonna wanna do. Uncheck enforce streaming encoder settings. And if you're streaming at 1920 by 1080, I recommend a bitrate of 6,000, and your preset should be maximum quality if you can handle it. Do not select look ahead, and you can leave psycho visual tuning on. Hit apply, but do not yet hit okay. This is for maximum quality. You guys can take the quality down if you want. This is gonna be very high quality if you stream at this level. Next, go to the recording tab for those of you that are looking to record your mobile gaming footage. Here, like we did before, if you have an NVIDIA encoder on your computer, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you wanna select that here as your encoder. And for your bit rate for recording, I recommend going higher than what you have for your stream. For gameplay, I recommend going up to at least 15,000 as your bit rate minimum. Consider going all the way up to 30,000 if you wanna maximize your quality and really get something that looks beautiful. For your preset, do maximum quality. Do not do look ahead, but do psycho visual tuning. And for your recording format, I recommend using MP4, especially for those of you that are going to be working with an editor at some point, uh, an MP4 is the most compatible um, video format. Hit apply, but do not yet hit okay. Go to audio and increase your audio bit rate to 320 on all tracks. This will maximize the audio quality coming in from your gameplay and your microphone and anything else that you're gonna be adding to OBS Studio. Most people leave this at the default and they get half the quality. This is how you start getting a leg up in terms of production quality versus the big boys out there. Hit apply, but do not yet hit okay. If you're going to be streaming, click the stream tab. And I'm not gonna go over every single streaming platform, but what you're gonna to wanna to do is under service, select the streaming platform that you're going to be streaming on. So let's say it's Twitch. And then you wanna hit a connect account if you have that option, or you can use stream key. And almost every platform has a stream key option. And so what you do is you go into the platform, into your streaming dashboard, whether it's Twitch or Facebook or YouTube, you copy the stream key and then you paste that stream key right here and hit apply and then hit okay. And now your streaming platform is locked in for your stream. But as you can see, we have no content on the screen behind us. So let's get that mobile gaming gameplay on there. Okay, so how, you're, how are you gonna do that? Go down to sources down here and hit the plus button. Plus, and then go up to a video capture device. That's what your capture card is. And call it, I'll just leave mine as video capture device. You call yours whatever you wanna call it and hit okay. Then what you're going to do is do this drop down device menu and select your capture card. HD60S, 
or HD 60 S plus. I'm gonna choose the S cause that's what I have connected to this tutorial computer. Great. And then in terms of the resolution and the different settings, you're probably going to want to select custom. You're gonna do 1920 by 1080. And for your frame rate, I, may, I recommend manually selecting 60 frames per second as your frame rate, just to ensure that 60 frames is coming through, okay? And as you can see, my signal behind me is a little bit pixelated. Uh, that's because this is I'm doing cloud gaming on Xbox. Okay, so now, oh no, there's black bars on the side. What do I do, AWOL? Well, some phones are not 1920 by 1080. As you can see, the resolution on this particular phone and for iPads and stuff, this is ultra wide essentially, right? It's not, it's not 16 by nine, it's wider than that. Some iPads are skinnier than that, right? And they, the horizontal aspect ratio is, or the horizontal resolution is different. So what you can do to fix that, depending on whatever the, uh, the, the resolution is of your particular phone, what you can do is click on it and then hold down the Alt button and drag in the sides to crop in the sides of your footage. Alt, click the little square and drag it down to the edge. Alt, click in the square and drag it to the edge. Alt, click on the square and drag it to the edge. And then it'll crop down the signal down to only the part that shows uh, the footage. You then right click on it, go to transform and go to fit to screen and now your footage is full screen. And if there's little teeny black bars on the sides or whatever, tweak it in. You can tweak it in later, okay? I'm just showing you for this demo. If you wanna put a webcam on top of this, I'll just quickly review on how to do that. It's, it's really simple. You're gonna add another source, as you can see down here. So go down to plus and add another video capture device, such as your webcam. I'm gonna call this one webcam. Whatever yours is called, name it that. And mine's the Logitech Brio here. I'm just gonna randomly select my resolution, but select your webcam, select the resolution of your webcam. I'm just gonna choose, you know, whatever resolution for mine. And then you can take your webcam and overlay it on top of your footage, as you can see here. But wait, where is my microphone? Okay, so what I recommend doing is muting your webcam if that's not your microphone down here in the mixer and hiding it because you don't want audio devices showing over here that you're not using. As you can see, the video capture device right now is giving me audio. That's the audio from my phone. That's the audio from your phone. You want to manually add your microphone now, okay? So what you're gonna do for that is go back down to sources right here. Click plus and go to audio input capture and then call it whatever your microphone is called or whatever you wanna call your microphone, hit okay. Now select whatever your microphone is on your system and then hit okay. And then boom, as you can see, your microphone will be right here in the mixer. Quick pro tip for your microphone if you want your microphone to sound better is go click the gear cog next to your microphone right here. And there's a few filters that make your microphone sound better almost always. Gear cog and then do filters right there, filters. It'll pull up the filters menu for your microphone. The first filter I recommend for mics, hit the plus button right here. The first filter I recommend for mics is the compressor. Hit okay. The ratio for your compressor should be four to one. Drop it down to four to one. And then now the compressor is making your audio sound more consistent and better almost all the time. The next filter I recommend, hit the plus button here, is adding a limiter making sure that your microphone doesn't peak during your epic gameplay, hit the up button right here and you wanna increase the threshold on this limiter up to negative three dB. So this makes it so that your audio is more consistent. As you can see, my signal here is in the yellow almost into the red all the time now. And it makes it so that it doesn't pop over the red and blow up the headphones of all of the users that are watching your stream. So now, I just showed you literally top to bottom every piece of gear required and every bit of software required to get that footage from your phone into your OBS, to add your webcam, to add your microphone, and to connect all those streaming platforms into record. Now all you have to do is hit start streaming and hit start recording, and you're on your way to building that mobile gaming audience. Thank you so much for watching. Link in the description below to every single piece of gear that I talked about in this video. 
and have fun streaming mobile games. It's an absolute blast. See you, mobile gamers.